Hi, this is Glue 2024, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put how to hack or put Rockbox on your iPod Nano first generation. If you look at the back, it says iPod, it's a silver back, it'll say 4 gig, because I have a 4 gig, and it says 2005 Apple down there, but you can't see it. So this is my Nano, and right there is Rockbox. Got all my music and apps and games and stuff like that. You can put iBoy, which is an app, and you can uh, play a bunch of Game Boy Advance ROMs and stuff like that. It's really fun to use the little tap pad. Um, you can play videos on it that you download, like music videos and stuff like that, but that's all in a different video. But today, I'm going to show you how to install Rockbox on your iPad Nano first generation, with either a Mac or a PC. So once it's plugged in, iTunes will come up. iTunes right here. What, you, what you'll need to do is click on your iPod right there. Mine. You'll have to go into the options. On you go into the summary after you click on your iPod. Go into the options and you'll see these options. Um, go into if you don't have the manually managed music checked, you'll have the other options to check. So what you're going to make sure you do is you enable disk use, and once you do that, it'll be able to come up in Finder. So you enable that. Then you, you'll have to hit apply. It'll be right here somewhere, right around here. You'll hit apply, and once it applies and it's set and everything, you can open Finder. That there's my iPod in the Finder window. And these are my iPod's folders, or some of them at least. It doesn't have music or stuff, just calendars, notes, photos, contacts. But once you have that set up, what you're going to do is you're going to go into a website called rockbox.org rockbox.org make sure you put the .org and not .com once you have gone to that site what you're going to do is on the left you'll see a category downloads you'll go into current build once you've gone into current build you'll see a list of all these iPods and all these devices go to your iPod Nano first generation and I'm just going to mention that this works on um, a Mac and a PC. So you can hack it and put Rockbox on with either uh, operating system. So it's done right there. If you go and click on it, open. You open where the file is. Now because I'm on a Mac, it's been kind of weird to it hasn't been opening the file right, it hasn't been unzipping it is what I mean. On the PC it should work fine, it should unzip it, and you'll see the folder that's in the zip file automatically. But because I'm on the Mac it's just not working right. So what I had to do is I had to download a program called Better Zip. Better Zip and I gotta right click on the zip folder. Click open with Better Zip. Do that. There it is right there, better zip. It's opening. See there's the name of the zip file the zip file. And inside the zip file is dot rockbox. It's a folder. Once that is unzipped, you can go into your iPod and finder. And you're just gonna drag that over. It'll say extracting. And because I'm on a Mac again, it's not showing the folder even though it's in there it's just not showing it here for some reason but it's there on a PC it'll show it fine it, it should just show it along with all the other folders it'll show dot rockbox um, so once you've done that you're gonna go into on uh, the side you will see manual under documentation go to manual again you'll see all the iPods Go into iPad Nano no, first gener generation since that's what I have. Click online so we don't have to download the files. And you will see Rockbox manual for iPod Nano first generation. We're just going to click installation to look at the installation manual. Gonna scroll down, scroll down until you see 2.2.2 .2 manual installation, which is right here. Then you're just going to keep going down a little bit more until you see um, 
bootloader installation and you'll see a link right here. Now if you're on a Windows computer, you'll click this uh, fold th this link right here. If you're on a Mac like I am, you'll click this right here. And once you have done that, it'll install a, a bootloader or it'll be called iPod Patcher. Once that's installed, you open it. We go in and open that. It's in my applications. iPod Patcher, there it is right there. You're going to open it. And on the Mac, it opens with terminal. On a PC, it'll open with command prompt. You'll see it load a bunch of stuff. Scanning disk devices. It's scanning and looking for the iPod. Okay, now it comes with all this info. It doesn't really matter what it says. But it says enter I to install, U to uninstall, or C to cancel. What you're going to do here is you're just going to put an I, then enter. Give that a second to install. Using internal bootloader, reading original firmware, then it says wrote. Bootloader, bootloader installed it successfully. Press enter to exit. So you hit the enter button on your keyboard. It says process complete. complete. You're just going to get out of terminal because you're done. And you can go into your iPod on the finder and hit eject. So you're done installing I, iRockbox on your iPod. Not iRockbox, just Rockbox. Okay. So my iPod is still plugged in, except now it looks like this. It says, it says multimedia mode. Because that's the Rockbox uh, screen for plugged in. And um, if you, since I ejected it, I could just pull it out. And there is Rockbox. Not a joke, probably. It happens sometimes. Sorry. Right. There's Rockbox right there. But it's frozen right now. See, I can't scroll or anything. See, it's not doing anything. You'll, you would see the highlighted thing moving. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the middle and menu button down. Hold it down. Then you'll see it'll shut off. Then you let go. It brings up the little apple. And that has reset the iPod. So once it's reset, now it's working fine. To um, bring up your original menu for your iPod Nano, you're going to hold the home, the menu, and the middle button again to reset it. Wait until it resets. When it resets, you'll see the Apple logo. It'll be dim. And before it lights up, you got to hit switch on the hold button, which I did. And you see it just lit up. Now watch what it does. And there's the original menu. But you uninstall Rockbox, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the iPod Patcher, which we downloaded before, to install it. You can open it again. Make sure it's plugged in before you do this. You open it again, and it'll find it in Terminal or in um, Command Prompt. And instead of hitting I to install, you're going to hit I to uninstall. You're going to hit U to uninstall. Hit enter. And then once this is uninstalled, you can go into your My Computer and go into the Finder and take out the .rockbox file if you want. You don't have to, but it might be a little easier. There it says bootloader removed. Just hit enter, and you're done. I'm just going to reset it while it's plugged in, which I find it easier to do sometimes. Hit reset and wait for it to come up. It is up with the original menu. As you can see right there. So Rockbox is uninstalled now. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know and, and uh, I'll try to help you out. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Comment, subscribe. Till then, I'll see you later. Peace.